Hey guys, welcome back to Insight Tennis Tour Stroke Series. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit more about the forehand. And I'm going to give you a little tip today that is going to add huge power to your forehand. Uh, this is actually just a really, really simple thing that you can do. But unless you consciously um, do it or you know make a conscious effort to do it, you probably are holding the racket um, way, 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 way too tight. Uh, this is something if you watch Federer, if you watch Favrinka, if you watch any of these uh, pros that have huge ground strokes, you're going to see that they're very, very relaxed and loose and fluid. Um, so we want to talk a little bit about this today. Uh, first and foremost, the more rigid, the more stiff I am, I'm actually losing power, not increasing power. I want to be almost like ragdoll loose. I mean, that's maybe a little bit exaggerated, but, but to get the idea, that's kind of the thing you want to think about. So first and foremost, this is going to help you guys. It will make, uh, have, have a lot more racket head speed. Immediately, you're going to have more racket head speed. So your timing has got to be a little bit better. So this is kind of an advanced move uh, to try this, but you're going to take your normal grip, which for most players is a semi-western or somewhere in between eastern and semi-western. I'm not going to advocate one is better than the other, but uh, however you, you uh, hold the racket, I do advocate the semi-western grip. What I want you guys to think about, however, is to think about holding the racket as soft as you can in your hands. Even though I'm going to cock my wrist up like this when I'm taking my racket back, you'll see this with all of the pros out there, they have a little bit different variations of how they take the racket back, but they all pretty much have that racket pointing up in the air like this and they're going to of course let go with the left hand and they're in that good you know, power position here. Um, and this is one of the key things, even though my wrist is cocked up like this, it's still nice and relaxed, okay? If I have a really, really relaxed grip and a really, really relaxed uh, arm and wrist, that release back or the racket releasing back to introduce the lag will happen a lot more naturally. And this is gonna give me a lot more racket head speed. So simply by softening my hands on the racket, I can accomplish this. So a good way to practice this is to just hold the racket really, really soft in your hands and practice your swing, kind of shadow your swing and allow that racket to just release back and release through. Okay, release back and release through. Release back and release through. And this is a good way to kind of feel this. Nice soft hands, allowing the racket to release back. The uh, uh, Coming back to contact, if I have nice soft hands, the racket will naturally release as it's supposed to through the ball. Okay, uh, and this is a product of the momentum of the swing. And that's one of the key things. So again, remember this guys, soft hands on the racket. You, you should have this on, on all of your shots in my opinion. Soft hands, little squeeze at impact to maintain racket control. Clearly if the balls hit harder at me, I do have to have, I, I do have to be more firm, of course. But by and large, you will squeeze the racket enough if you, uh, you know, as a product of the impact of the ball. So you don't have to think lock your wrist or lock down, just a slight squeeze at contact to maintain racket control. So next time you're out there, think soft hands on the racket, let the racket naturally release back as I start to uncoil my body. If I've got a nice soft wrist, soft grip, soft arm, loose arm, this is that effortless power that you see the pros have. Okay, so I'm gonna have a nice, hip and shoulder rotation here, uh, good body coil as you can see, my left arm's across my body, but if I am actually nice and relaxed with my hand and my wrist, all I have to do now is I step into the ball, I lower my racket down, it's gonna naturally, as I start to uncoil my body, it just is gonna naturally seek that laid back position. And that's what I want, as I come back to contact, come back, extension, release, and through the ball. So a good way to practice that again, guys, nice soft hands, just allow this racket to release back and release through. And just feel that a few times, release back and release through. Notice I've got also a good extension out to my target. So I'm, I'm here, 
Got nice soft hands on the racket, lower it down, release it back and through. Here, lower it down, boom. And again, practice that, shadow swing it, you'll get the feel of it. It's gonna add huge power to your, to your forehand. Takes a little time to get it. It's gonna take some time to practice this, but once you get the timing, boy, you're gonna love what you find on the other end of this. The power that you're gonna have, the ball just explodes off your racket. Uh, again, hopefully that's gonna be helpful for you. If you do like the video, please click the link below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Insight Tennis. Also, check out our website at InsightTennis.com. Uh, leave any comments, uh, questions below. Make sure you turn on that notification button so you get all of the newest and latest content. We do have a lot of new videos coming out, a lot of new content, including paid content um, that will be available on the website. Uh, the links will be available uh, on uh, the YouTube channel as well. Uh, so be watching for that. There's a lot of new things happening with Insight Tennis in 2020. Uh, I've been injured and out of the game for well over a year, uh, but I'm happy to say that I'm, I'm back and recovering. So it's great to be back with you guys. Um, once again, uh, hopefully this will be helpful for you. Remember next time you're out there on the court, soft hands, little squeeze at impact to maintain racket control. As always guys, thank you so much for your time. We'll see you next time out on the court.